Hello, and thank you for joining me for another shade review video. Sorry it's been a while since I've seen you all, but I hope you all are staying safe and well. Um, <clears throat> today, we're gonna to be taking a look at something from Hope City Soap Company. I've already done a review of Morning Height, and I've also tried a bunch of the other scents that I got as well. I think I have all of them except for Pipe Dreams. Um, but this one is called Pages. Uh, this scent is, it's just a really well blended kind of a woody scent. Um, just to tell you what notes are in there, it opens with cedar, leather, and teak wood, and it finishes off with amorous, patchouli, sandalwood, and dark musk. Um, <clears throat> I can definitely smell the teak wood in there and the sandalwood kind of rounds everything out to make it a really nice, well-blended scent there. And then, of course, a little bit of the leather. It's kind of like sitting in your study in a leather office chair reading one of your favorite books. That's pretty, pretty much what this whole label <laughs> kind of reminds me of here, the scent as well. Very, very nice. And along with that, we will be going for the matching splash. For our heart bird today, we're gonna to be using the Blackland Blackbird Double Edge Safety Razor with a Gillette Nasset blade in there. I ran out of my Paul Silvers, so the Nassets are gonna are gonna do for now. And then for my brush today, we're gonna to be taking a look at one that I haven't used, I don't think, on camera just yet. But it is a that darn rod brush with the tortoise shell handle here and with the V6 Fancura knot. But very nice, this thing holds a lot of water. Um, I mean, <laughs> you can see from there. Um, this will probably be one of the first times you guys have seen me use a badger brush on this thing. So um, I've, been, I've used another That Darn Raw brush that I've got currently. Um, and it's a frosted handle. Let me show you, this is really, really beautiful piece of work here. It's called frost. And that's what the handle looks like on that. Really, really beautiful. It's got a little bit of a shimmer in there. And the, that darn Rob coin there. Very, very nice brush. <clears throat> Okay, I think I've shown you everything we're using today, so we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. Hope everybody has had a good week and is having a good weekend so far. I'm thankful that uh, we are not busy this weekend. Um, no funerals today. was about time for a shave and time for a shave to me means after two or three days <laughs> it just starts to get a little bit itchy and everything it just it needs to come off so okay we're gonna go ahead and take most of that water out there for this brush and we're just gonna go start to load and I'll probably do about a 20 to 30 second load for this And these brushes do pick up a lot of soap. Um, so very light pressure is what I'm using right now. And a pretty decent, a decently damp brush. It's not sopping wet or anything, just damp. <clears throat> okay. I think we're gonna be fine. Um, that's what the brush looks like now before lathering. So we'll go ahead and put that down and we'll go ahead and start to lather. Go ahead and paint this on first. These brushes are so new that uh, it's they still have a little bit of a, a wildlife smell. <laughs> so that'll get 
worked out. I cleaned these brushes with the Zingari Man um, all-purpose brush cleaner. And it's amazing how dirty these things, the, the knots are um, coming straight from the manufacturer, but the water was very dirty. <laughs> But now it was it was clean in the fan of it. I mean, you saw the other one. I cleaned that one too with it, and the fan just blossomed with it. Very very good stuff. Go ahead and start building the lather here. And I would say the scent is uh, maybe a six to me. This is a very tame scent and really, really nice to wear in the office. Um, very sophisticated scent. And I love, I love the teak wood and the sandalwood really takes the edge off of the teak wood too. A little bit more water here. And I've also found the lighter the touch that you use with these badger brushes the better, um, spreading that lather on, or doing a face lather. There you go. And that's a good consistency for me there. So. All right. And we'll see how this Nasset works out today. The Nassets that I've used before with other razors have been kind of funny feeling to me. Just not used to it. But we'll see how it goes. And having used this Raider base before, I mean, I know how it performs and everything, very slick soap. So, I mean, there's no fear of any kind of drag or anything like that. And Mr. David Lopez Sapero, he's the owner of HubScent City Soap Company and uh, his first base right out of the gate, I mean, is just fantastic. I mean, it competes with anything out there on the market right now. All of the big boys that have been going at it for probably since the beginning of the uh, resurgence of wet shaving. Yeah, it definitely competes with the big guys out there. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie um, A Walk in the Woods with Robert Redford. 
but uh, I don't know why I picture this, but uh, I, I picture him sitting in his study reading some books. The scent just kind of, I bet if he would wear a, if he would use any shaved soap on the market today, Robert Redford would probably, he might choose this one. So. First pass, I think, was a success. The blade wasn't too bad. And it knocked a good little bit off here. We're going to have to go for a second pass. So I'm going to do my second pass now, and I will be back with you once that is completed. Uh, great second pass. Um, that Nasset blade, I don't think I'm quite used to that just yet, but uh, it kind of grabbed in a few places there. Um, and it doesn't matter if the soap is slick or not. I mean, uh, it's slick initially once you put the soap across your face with the with that it is very slick whenever you go for cleanup and stuff that blade just kind of net snagged in the few of my hair um but other than that performance of the soap was fantastic um very smooth hydrated face you could forego an aftershave if you wanted to um wipe off a little bit of that there but yeah i mean bbs shave all around so, all right, we'll go ahead and check out the splash here, see what it's all about. Okay. Hmm. definitely a little bit of a burn <laughs> it does have alcohol in it so um but it's a great splash as well i mean one of the unsung splashes that that's out there right now very very nice um hydrate your face very well repair very good stuff so thank you all for tuning in today uh for this shave and again sorry i haven't been with you in a while but uh hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there thank you for watching today and